What is going on YouTube? Lamont on the run. Today, we are walking through an abandoned thrift store somewhere in the great state of Pennsylvania. I'm doing a little bit of breaking and entering, but I come in peace. Let's see if we can find any really cool stuff in here. See that cat food? I think I might take it with me. Is it stealing if I'm giving it to a hungry feline? I don't know. Anyways, so while we're casing the joint, I want to talk about a story that has been on my mind for about three days. And the story is about this freak right here. This freak's name is Stephen Hanna. And of course, if you have not heard anything about this weirdo, it's because you have had your head in the sand for the last better part of a week. Now, there's a high school called Trafalgar High School, which is in Ontario, Canada, right across the water from Niagara Falls. And so this guy, right, check this out. This guy is supposedly a shop teacher. This guy is supposedly a shop teacher. And he wears these disgusting, sexually depraved, massive fake breasts. They're not real. They're not implants. It's basically like a backpack. You put it on and there you go. So some students in the class was were filming him working, right? They were filming him doing this and doing that. Now... This story has gone all over social media and the high school where this guy supposedly works at is defending this clown. They're defending this clown. They're defending this nonsense and they're saying that this guy is trans and that he has a right to wear these fake prosthetic breasts, right? Okay. All right. You know, to each their own. Now... Back in the days when I was a kid, sexual perverts like this would be ridiculed, laughed at, promptly fired, and possibly arrested. If this is a real story, if this is a real story, this grown man who's taken his sexual kink to work in front of your children should be arrested and put on a sex offender registry. Promptly and ASAP. This guy is a creepy weirdo. This is not trans. This is not shaming. You're taking something that you're getting off on while there's kids around. In a public school setting when there should be nothing along those kinds of things anywhere near your children. But I'm going to say this. I'm probably wrong. I'm probably wrong. But this story is so ridiculous to me. I think it's fake. I think the story's fake. I think this guy is trolling. Now, I don't know if it's fake on the, uh, the side of the school, but this guy is definitely, in my opinion, I think he's trolling. I think he's trying to pull off a goof, pull off a stunt to try to make the school system in Ontario look bad. But if I am not correct, and this is a real thing, which the side of my rational adult brain says that this story is totally nonsense and totally fake. But of course, we live in a culture now where stupid, idiotic nonsense such as this, this perversion, this is nothing more than a perversion, 
should not be entertained. It should not be accepted. And it should not be held up and compared to other protected people, whether they're black, Asian, Jewish, Muslim, so forth and so on. This is absolutely not right. And this is absolutely sick and absolutely disgusting in my personal opinion. I cannot believe this story is real. If it is in fact real, I don't know. But anybody watching this video right now, if you think, I don't care what your sexual orientation is. I don't care. If you think that this creep has any right to be anywhere near your children with those things, those perverted things on, you're a sick person and you need help. You are the problem here. Not normal people like me and most people, if, if not practically everybody right now watching this video. I was beyond outraged when I first seen the story, but I'm not going to lie. I actually ignored it because I thought I was stupid. I've seen uh, Mark Dice talk about it. I've seen Tucker Carlson talk about it. Uh, I have yet to hear Ben Shapiro's take on it. Because I said to myself, I said, why are these guys talking about this fake story? Why are these guys talking about this fake story? But then you have this guy who comes out for the school system uh, in Ontario for the Trafalgar High, whatever that place is called, saying that this, this deviant, this sexual deviant person has the right to bring basically what amounts to a sex toy right a, a a fetish toy to school and then have your kids distracted by this nonsense the only proof i have the only proof i have that this story is fake and this is the only proof is that in the video when this guy is at the bandsaw he's cutting a piece of wood he does it in a way where it's like no shop teacher, no person in their right mind that has done any kind of woodworking in their lives moves the way he moves and cuts wood the way he cuts because he does it in a very unsafe manner. But you know what? I have no clue. I have no idea if this story is real or if this story is fake. But I can tell you one thing. This story is sick. This story is disgusting. And guys, just remember, this ain't about your rights if you're in the LGBTQIA plus community. That is not the case. This has nothing to do with it. If this story is real, this has everything to do with your children being further and further sexualized and ha been having things in a sexual fashion, and a sexual manner put in their face. But I'll end the video like this. I, I wish, I hope that I am correct in my assertions that this is a troll. That this guy is trolling, that this guy is not serious. He's just being a goof. He's just being a clown. I cannot believe in the day and age in this world that a grown man could find these things and wear them and bring them to school and everything is okay. See what happens? We only wanted to get married, they said. We only wanted to get married. This is what happens. This is why people out in the world are anti-gay. Because you get this nonsense. Me personally, I don't care what you do with your body. Keep it to yourself. Anyways, guys. I'm done. I'm out of here. I think I hear some sirens. Is that an alarm? All right. Gotta go, guys. Peace out.